Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me on this workshop today. We're going to be learning how to make prints on fabric just using a rock or a wooden mallet or a flat smooth surface, um, some fine old bed sheet or cotton, uh, I've got an old bag here, and some leaves that you've gathered from your garden. As you'll see, ferns work really well, but I've got a selection of different leaves. I've got some mock orange from mock orange tree in my garden, and um, let's have a go. What you wanna do, as you can see in this time-lapse here, is place the leaf underneath the bag or fabric, and then very gently, um, this is at high speed, <laughs> this video, but just very gently start to tap onto the sheet or fabric that you've got through where the leaf is. So what you'll find is that where the leaf has been sort of bashed, if you like, with the mallet or the rocks, it will stick to the underside of the fabric. I've got a bag here, but you can use anything, um, an old piece of sheet or a pillowcase, and we can make things from them later, like bunting or flags, or you could just use it as something to hang up. Um, so you peel off the leaf from the underside of the print, but then what you've got, if you can hopefully see there, is the actual print of the fern which has really come out quite well in terms of detail and I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna try another one now. So this is a jasmine leaf from the jasmine vine that I've got in my garden as well. Um, some work better than others and what you'll find is that you want to place the leaf as I have done underneath um, onto the hard surface. I've got a chopping board underneath, so layered up I have the chopping board, then I have my leaf, then I have my bag um, or fabric, and then just make sure you know where the leaf is so that when you hammer down on it that you'll know where the um, leaf is going to show through. And what you're doing is you're crushing the leaf um, and because it's summer and there's been quite a lot of rain, the leaves are quite moist. In the winter, they're drier, so it's harder to get the prints cut through. But the chlorophyll, which is the element in the leaf which contains the colour, will just be crushed through the fabric and actually show the shape of the leaf right there. So I'm just doing it quite gently you don't want to do it very hard so it takes a bit of patience and sometimes it's good to have a break because you have to kind of be quite gentle um but at the same time sort of hard enough to make sure the leaf comes through so it's a bit of an experiment so you, you're just um you'll be having it a go and don't worry if it doesn't come out exactly right sometimes the leaf might slip underneath the fabric maybe it won't show as you want it to perhaps the fern uh, my ferns went brown um, but because the print was so lovely and it came up so well I was really pleased with it anyway I didn't mind that they were brown so I'm just having a go with the jasmine here and this is a, a more sped up video of this jasmine leaf and then I'm going to try a few others as well so you'll see that some work better than others the jasmine's not been too bad actually but um I think still the fern's my, my favourite. And you just be careful with your fingers when you're doing this because as you can see, I'm kind of holding the leaf in place with one hand and then I'm sort of tapping with the mallet on the other hand. So just be really careful when you're doing that, that you're not bashing too hard and always be really mindful of where your fingers are when you're tapping over onto the um, onto the fabric. So that's my experiment, and I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different leaves. Um, as I suspected, the, because the fern's got such a beautiful fine shape, and there's lots of little leaves um, within the bigger leaves that has come out really well, but the other ones are quite bright too, and I love the fact that all the different leaves show a different colour as well. And if you turn it inside out, or turn the fabric upside down, you'll see where the sharpness of the leaf has been sort of stuck against the fabric. Um, sometimes it's been really hard to peel them off, but maybe that doesn't matter because what I was gonna suggest that we do is perhaps make some of these um, 
prints into flags or you could string them up as bunting so you could cut around every leaf that you do and stitch them together so just have really have a really fun time with it and see how how you find all the different leaves print in your garden thanks so much for joining me and um, hopefully see you soon bye